The plate aisle at Dollar Tree is intense and these play settings are amazing. They have them in different colors, including this clear one and I cannot wait to show you what I did with them. All right, we're gonna start with one of their calendars. By now, you know that I love crafting with their calendars. They have great designs for every season. I'm gonna take this Happy Harvest one and I'm gonna cut out the pumpkin. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife, but of course you can use your scissors if you'd like. Once I had it cut, I'm going to use the new technique that you've probably seen me using and are probably tired of hearing about it. <laughs> I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the back of it and I'm going to put it to the side to let it dry. It's about a light to medium coat. While that's dry, I'm going to take some of this greenery and I'm going to start making a swag. I'm just going to start adding greenery and florals and tie it in the center with some jute string. All right, so the play we are using for this craft is this beautiful navy blue one. Gorgeous, it's actually from their summer collection, but it's perfect for fall decor. I love the finish that it already has, but I do want to distress it a little bit, but of course you can skip this part if you want. I'm gonna use a light grid on my sanding block and I'm just gonna do the edge back and forth, keeping the same direction. And then I'm gonna wipe it really, really well. This is gonna make all those ridges and edges really pop. Once the Mod Podge was dry, I realized that the pumpkin was a little too wide. So I'm just gonna trim it using my scissor. Now remember, the Mod Podge is fully dry. Now I'm gonna take my little mini iron and I'm gonna iron it on. This is a great technique, but I hadn't used it on a plastic plate and I was a little nervous. I'm gonna put parchment paper right on top and I'm just gonna start ironing it and it actually attached beautifully. Boy, did this work. Now the little edges was still a little bit over the little like edge so I just used a little tip from the iron and it attached so beautiful. Now, when it was dry, the pumpkin actually distressed a little bit on the bottom, but it's okay, it worked out. I'm gonna attach the little swag on the top with some hot glue, and then I'm gonna add one of these leather pumpkins from Dollar Tree. They have a little clip, but I'm gonna remove that, add hot glue and add it right there. They also have these little acorns that I really love. They're foam, and I'm just gonna add a little hot glue and add it right there next to the pumpkin, just for added texture and design and i love 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 this plate you can put it on a picture holder or a plate holder love the way it turned out but let me know what you think down in the comments for this next dollar tree diy craft i'm going to take this beautiful orange ceramic plate it's a dessert kind of type of plate I'm gonna take one of these window clings. Now, you know I love using these as well for crafting and I have a ton left over from last year's season. This autumn one is gorgeous and I'm just gonna place it right there because the plate has this very shiny finish to it. It attaches so good. It's probably one of the best crafts with these clings. You can't even tell that the cling is there. All right, moving on. I'm just excited. All right, so I want to take one of these wooden stems from Dollar Tree. Now, it has a lot of like imperfections and I love it. So I'm going to leave it just like this and attach a popsicle stick to the back. Reinforce it really good with hot glue. And then we're going to cut off the excess because we want to attach it and kind of give it a pumpkin look. The plate is orange. You can't blame me for making it a pumpkin. But of course, you can skip the stem portion if you want. Once attached, again, I'm going to reinforce it just a little bit with the hot glue. And then we're just going to start making little bows. Now, this is raffia, but of course, you can use a ribbon, jute string, whatever you have on hand is fine. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers a few times, tie it in the center with some jute string, remove the excess, and then we're just going to hot glue it underneath the step, just right there. I'm going to layer another ribbon, and I'm going to use this pumpkin ribbon from Dollar Tree. It's a thin one. I'm going to make a very simple bow, tie it in the center again with jute string, and then hot glue it right there in the center on top of the other bow. And we're gonna add one more of those little acorns right there. Now, again, you can display this with on a, one of those picture holders or a plate holder, but I love, 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 love the way this one turned out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna use my Cricut Joy Extra. Now, I know that Cricuts can be a little expensive and not everybody has them, and I understand that, 
But if you're looking for an expensive machine, the Joy Extra is really good. So I have a link in the description box. All right, this is the plate we're using. Love the design. I love that it has actually texture just like wood. So we're gonna dust it really well. And then after I had weeded out all of the excess vinyl, I'm just gonna attach letter by letter the phrase, hello fall, right onto the center of the plate. And I'm just gonna do it like stickers. I'm gonna lightly pl place them. That way I can move them if I need to. Once I have them in a place where I want them, I'm just gonna start pressing them with my fingers. I'm gonna remain my drill in a drill bit. I'm just gonna start drilling holes, kind of like around the hello fall decal. And I did enough to fit these fairy lights. Now, not all the fairy lights are gonna fit, but I did end up drilling even more holes and adding one more set of fairy lights because I wanted to have more lights, but you can use only one if you want. I'm just gonna fold the wire really close to each little light bulb and we're just gonna place them right inside the hole. Now, as you can tell, not all the lights are being used and that's okay, but I am going to drill more holes because I do want more. And I'm gonna use a masking tape to hold it in place and that way it's not gonna slip and slide and come out of the hole. Now I'm gonna keep doing this until all the holes are filled. I attach the battery pack to the plate using hot glue as well. I cannot wait to show you how this looks. All right, so we're gonna take a piece of foam. This is from Dollar Tree. We're gonna hot glue it to the bottom of the plate and we're just gonna start adding florals. The florals are really gonna complement the hello fall very nicely and I'm gonna hot glue and keep adding as needed. I'm gonna add these yellow ones that I think truly brought everything together. Look how gorgeous this is. And not only does it look great during the day, but at night it has such a beautiful glow. Love, love, love the way this one turned out. But let me know what you think down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're gonna take this clear plate. It looks like glass, but it's actually clear plastic. I'm gonna carefully remove the sticker from the back. I have my heating tool in a lower setting so it doesn't melt the plate. I'm gonna dust it really well. We're gonna use another one of those clings because I just think it just looks gorgeous. This one says Happy Thanksgiving and I know we're far away from Thanksgiving, but I just wanna give you the idea and the thought that you can use these uh, clings in such fun ways with these plates. I'm gonna center it and then start removing any bubbles. You can use your fingers. I also love using a towel because it's soft enough and it just glides through and it removes those bubbles really, really good. We're gonna keep this one really simple and we're gonna make some faux knots. You've seen me do this before. Just make a very tight knot, remove the row from the top as well as the bottom and then hot glue it. I'm gonna do two of them and I'm gonna hot glue them kind of separated. Usually I place them towards the top this time I want to put him a little towards the top, but more towards the sides. Now, because the plate is clear, I cannot add hot glue because you'll be able to see it from the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to add hot glue exactly behind each knot. And I'm just going to place the rope right there. And it's going to make it look like it's hanging from the knots, but of course it's not. Same thing on the other side. Now, usually I use masking tape on top of the rope so that it doesn't fray but this time I don't want that tape showing. So I'm just gonna add hot glue in between the bristles and I'm gonna do that until it hardens and then I'll do it on both sides and that's it. What an easy craft. Of course, you can use florals, you can use greenery, whatever you want, but I love the simplicity. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a beautiful, elegant centerpiece with this golden plate. Now I'm gonna use two full candles. These are battery operated and I do get them on Amazon and I do have them on my Amazon store, which is linked below. I'm gonna use some pumpkins from Dollar Tree as well as this foam mushroom. And then we're just gonna start adding leaves and greenery and just florals and just whatever I feel fit. This is where you can have so much fun. You can also add some of those fairy lights from earlier and just kind of like weave them around all the decorations. It would look gorgeous. 
Now these battery operated um, candles do have a little remote control and you can set them to light or candle setting where they flicker. Gorgeous, gorgeous, love the colors and it's such an easy way to do a centerpiece. But what do you think of this one? Let me know down in the comments. I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.